Hello everyone and welcome to another Pyro Destiny video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at this snazzy new chess piece that I'm wearing on my Warlock and it is called the Alchemist Raiment. It is a very unique piece of exotic armor and it has been one of the highly sought after pieces of armor, at least for me since the release of the Taken King. Taking a closer look at this thing you can see that as you kind of turn his, uh, the colors of the lights on the chest piece actually kind of change colors. It's almost like it's translucent. It's very neat. And uh, definitely looks very cool, very unique, and aesthetically it's, it's very nice. So taking a look at this thing's unique perk, we have Iron to Gold. Chance to gain glimmer on primary ammo pickup. Orbs collected when your super is full, recharge your grenade and melee. Now this is a very interesting perk, and I was very excited to try this out and see exactly how it works, see how much glimmer you get per um, you know, ammo pickup and all that good stuff. And we'll get to that in just a second. We'll do a demonstration and uh, show you a little bit of gameplay with that. And rounding it out, looking at this thing's other perks, you can see that it's a chest piece, so it does get six as opposed to the five that most exotic pieces of armor get. And uh, since glass needles is now a thing and you can twist fate on any piece of exotic armor, these are probably going to be different for all of you, but the rolls I got are a pretty good intellect roll, a very good strength roll, uh, special ammo, increase the amount of special ammo drops, increase the amount of heavy ammo drops, that's the one I'll be using, and then we have solar burn defense and solar armor. Now like I said, because we have twist fate now in the game, you're probably not going to get these, and that's why I didn't take the time to level these up and show you what these all do because they really don't matter. You're you're going to get your own and it's not going to be the same as mine. But looking at this, you can see that we have a 64 intellect max and a 70 strength max. Now this is the first time that I have seen a piece of armor where the bottom talent is higher than the top talent. You can see here that most of the time it's the other way around, 64 47. This one is 64 70. So that's that's pretty and I could definitely use some uh, some strength boost on my Warlock. He doesn't really have much going for him. So anyway, taking a look at this thing's perks in action, you can see here that I have been picking these Vex off for quite a bit now to create lots of ammo drops down there. And yeah, we're going to jump down there and take a look and see what this thing does. So we got some Cabal here. There's some other people in the area kind of helping me out here, so that's pretty neat. So moving on, let's go find some uh, some ammo drops. Now this only works for primary ammo, so you can see that we pick up a special and it doesn't do anything. We did get five glimmer there or six glimmer there because we picked up a, a primary box, but picking up special, it doesn't do anything. Let me get rid of this minotaur. Picking up heavy, nothing. Picking up more special, nothing. We got some more heavy here, we'll pick it up. It's not every time that you pick up our primary ammo that it's going to give you glimmer it's just a chance now we'll go ahead and get rid of our grenades here since my super is full orbs will now recharge your grenades and melee so that's definitely neat doesn't fill them all the way up but it's a pretty nice jump so we'll pick up another box of heavy here and you can see there we got four glimmer woohoo here's another primary box we'll pick that up we got nothing Go ahead and pick up that Ingram, why not? Here's another primary box. Didn't get anything for that one. Pick up that primary box, and we got four. So from what I gather, you average about three to six glimmer per ammo drop. Hello, hello. And that's that's not really good. I mean, this is going to fall into the category of another one of those pieces of armor that sounds really cool, looks really cool, but you're not going to get much practical use out of it. Kind of like the stag. Um, if you watched my videos previously, I did not give the stag a very good review because although Doe or Die is a very cool perk and a very unique perk, it's very limited in the amount of times that you're actually going to get good use out of it. And same goes for this one. Getting three to six glimmer each time, or three to six glimmer like 25% of the time when you pick up an ammo block, that's that's not good, guys. <laughs> it's really not. <laughs> I mean, you're you're much better off using something like Heart of the Praxic, Praxic Fire or uh, uh, the Impossible Machines here or something like that. I mean, something that will actually give you some kind of advantage over the enemy as opposed to just this. Now, 
If you get a good roll on this, like this one, I have heavy ammo and solar armor, solar defense. I mean, these perks could make it a decent exotic, but this one by itself, it's not really that great. I mean, you max out your glimmer at 25,000. Do you have any idea how many I or how many primary ammo boxes you would have to pick up to max out your glimmer when you're getting three to six glimmer a pickup? It would take you a week. But anyway, guys, all in all, I would give this exotic eh, about a C plus, maybe a B. And that's I feel like that's being generous. It's it's another one of those that cool but it's just it's not practical I mean there's there's much better pieces of armor for you to wear that you're gonna get much more use out of but anyway guys that's gonna bring this video to an end don't forget to leave a rating on this video and subscribe to the channel if you have not already thank you for watching and take care guys